Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at Zoo Tycoon on Xbox One. Basically, we're just going to go through the um, style of the game and just look at the features and what you can do. Um, from the main menu, you're presented with a selection of options. Um, there's a co-op option which allows you to team up with other players and to build your zoo to your heart's content. But we're going to focus on the single player at the moment, so we'll just jump right in here and start a new game. Now, when you enter the single player, there are obviously um, three modes on offer, as you can see. Um, freeform mode gives you the option to just build, build, build. Challenge mode gives you a kind of small budget to start off with, and then you have to kind of build up your resources and finances and expand your zoo and the campaign mode gives you kind of set specific um, scenarios to work through with specific goals to um, accomplish so we're going to just jump into the challenge mode and um, just uh, choose one of the locations I don't think there's any particular difference it's just giving you the choice so we'll go with East Coast of North America and just jump right in so whilst this is loading, just a quick sort of overview of the game. What you're doing is managing the zoo. Um, all aspects of sort of keeping the zoo and its visitors happy. So that includes the animals, um, the attractions, making sure they're clean, and also making a bit of coin as well. That's kind of the main objective as well, to sort of build up your empire and make a lot of money at the same time. Um, the zoo business is a profitable biz profitable business so when we jump right in here you'll see that we've got pretty much nothing um, what's interesting is the location that you choose uh, this obviously looks like New York or Central Park um, it changes based on the location that you're in which is a nice little quirk so this is kind of like the, the view mode, the zoo mode, where you can sort of walk around in third person and just have a look at your exhibits up close and personal and sort of interact with the animals. If we just switch to tycoon view, that gives you kind of an aerial view so you can just quickly see what needs to happen and what needs to be do done in your zoo at a glance. I mean, there's a ping animal happiness, you know, it gives you an overview hunger you can just check all of the sort of facets of your zoo which would sort of look at as we've sort of built a few more things um, one thing worth noticing is that from the offset your admission price you know we've got no exhibit so we're charging normal price for absolutely nothing but as we expand you can then set how much money you want but you run the risk of losing visitors the other thing to explain here is the top of the screen you can see twenty five thousand dollars or whatever currency you want to use uh, the star that's your fame level which rises as you add more animals and exhibits and then the visitor numbers is 500 with that arrow pointing down meaning our visitors visitor numbers are on a decline uh, because obviously we don't have anything here so we can sort of zoom in pan out and uh, let's get cracking okay so first up you select a sort of blank piece of land and uh, we'll sort of do a mini exhibit first we'll go with a tropical rock we'll just place that here you can obviously place that anywhere and rotate that round zoom in so that's built now you can see instantly our money sort of creeping up quite slowly our fame level has increased but the visitor numbers are still sort of negative I don't think it will drop below 500 so what we need to do here is add some actual animals to this exhibit. So we'll adopt a new animal. We'll go with the lemurs. Lemur, whatever you want to call them. Ring-tailed, we'll get a male and female. So we'll go with uh, Jan. Yes. So now she's in there. Now we can sort of go into the um, zoo view. And have a look at her. There she is. I mean, you can zoom in and take photographs. She's kind of uh, meditating there. But what we all notice is that you can see on the left, if you hold the left trigger, you can just see kind of a, an overview of what the animal happiness and the, the kind of exhibit 
and um, you can see that the social need is declining quite rapidly and is in the red and now her happiness is uh, sort of fluctuating between happy and not happy so what that really means is we need to add more animals to this exhibit so we just go back into tycoon view select that add more animals and it's even telling me in the notifications that she's kind of lonely so we'll add another animal we'll add a female this time Laura so there's now two so now we just quickly check that and you can see the social need is now going up it's now in the yellow it's still climbing but as I from experience know that these animals require at least three companions or well, two companions so what we'll do is we'll add a third animal same species uh, we'll add another female and now there's three animals in this little exhibit here as you can see them running around there enjoying themselves and if we look here now you can see that their happiness is almost maxed out social need is maxed out everything is good our fame level has risen we're getting some money in as well and as you can see the visitor numbers have increased hurrah so we're on our way to making our millions of bucks in this zoo but obviously we need to sort of uh, start focusing on some other animals so what we'll do quickly here is we'll build a proper exhibit this time we'll go with a alpine we'll go with a um, small obviously those others are locked until you reach a certain fame level and we'll just slot that in here and you can see there's no animals in here now what you can do is now add your animals and what's interesting is that when you sort of go through the selection you can hold the left trigger and it tells you what their sort of habitat requirements are so we've just done the alpine level as you can see the bears are three stars in alpine so we're going to stick a couple of bears in there so we'll go with the grizzly bear we'll go with Annie meanwhile this is sort of costing us thousands of dollars to do this we'll add two bears we'll do that quite quickly uh, we'll add um, the males right, the ones with the bottles mean that they're baby bears so we'll add a uh, Jefferson right that's two bears and as you can see now that social need is rising because there's two bears in there will it go into the green yes so they're re relatively happy there as you can see our fame level is gone up we're almost at two stars the visitor numbers are increasing now there are extra things you can now do to this particular exhibit um, so we go to exhibit items and animal care we need to build a feeding station so we can see on each item what their animals like those items so we'll go with a fish feeding station I mean you can see the notifications and we've risen up to fame level 2 and as you can see you've unlocked more kind of items you can add to your zoo uh, quite a lot of stuff so now they've got a feeding station they're a bit happy and it's telling us in the notifications that there's no um, cleaning station for these bears so we can now add another you only get a limited amount of slots so we now build a cleaning station so now this sort of this area now is um, not too bad the habitat happiness is kind of in yellow but those bears look fairly content as you can see but one last thing we can do go to exhibit items and enrichments and we can add now some sort of entertainment for the bears and we just go through those and bears do like scratching posts and so we'll add one of those and then we come out of that 
and you can now sort of give an overview that happiness should be going up but they're you know his yellow's not too bad so you know they're content now you can see our money going up quite quickly now it's got two arrows indicating that it's gone up our visitor numbers have increased and they're on the way up as well so you know the bear attraction is uh, doing well but obviously we don't want to just rest at bears we've got more money to spend so what we'll do now, we'll build um, grasslands, we'll just add that here, I mean you can rotate it around, let's get that rock face over that side, place that in, now it's raised our fame level as well, so we've got more stuff, we can now add a breeding centre, but we're not going to focus on that just yet. So we need to add some animals here. So from my experience, I think antelopes like this grassland area. Yes, it's three stars. Just going through them all. Right, hippopotamus, but we're not the right level. So we just go with antelopes for now. So we'll add the first one. We need to research it first though. As you can see, the timer then ticks down to show you how long you've got to wait for that research to complete. You can sort of add modifiers to improve that. So whilst that's doing that, we can then just add the standard feeding station, which will do vegetable. So do that in advance. Move to the next one and add a cleaning station. So that when the animals move in, they should be um, fairly content. Right, people are complaining about a smell from the tropical rock that I put here. Um, it needs to be cleaned. So we clean the poop. Now you can actually build and hire staff that will take care of these kind of trivial matters for you. But um, for now, we'll just keep it on a basic level. So where were we? We're just adding our antelopes. Which are now researched. So we'll add destiny. And we'll add another antelope. All of Madge. So that's two. I mean, this pen can only hold a certain number of animals. Three at the max, so we'll add one more. You have to then build a sort of bigger area of the same kind of habitat if you want to increase. Right, we'll go with Basher. Right. Now we can see there, and the challenge has appeared. So if we push down on the D-pad, an animal magazine wants a photograph of a grizzly bear. So we go to our bear pen. We'll go into um, zoo view. And we'll get our camera out and we'll take that picture. good picture and the magazine's happy so we've got a reward fifteen hundred dollars all is good in the hood meanwhile back at the antelope pen you just see their status social need it's not bad you know they're all good they've fed so you know that's all reasonable uh, visitor numbers are going up you know, we're doing not too badly here. So this is kind of like the basic of what you do. Um, we can then sort of look at the guest happiness. And there's not many guests here, so... Entertainment, it's not really built up much to sort of... Um, 
You can see in the bottom left of the screen the happiness is in the green, animal happiness is in the green. So you kind of get a more detailed breakdown if you hold the left trigger. But we won't focus on that right now. We just want to quickly build more stuff. So we go with the savannah, we'll research that. I'm going to go straight for medium because it gives you just a bit more options to add. So just leave that running for now. I think what I'll need to do is add restrooms for our guests. So I'll just stick that here. You kind of preempt that you, you would need that. I mean, obviously it's a zoo. People are coming to visit. They need to relieve themselves. <laughs> I mean, you can add food and entertainment. So we'll do that as well whilst we're here. We'll add a, a balloon shop. That's increased our fame. Now we can add a janitor's office who will help in um, maintaining the uh, cleanliness of the zoo. So as you can see, it's just kind of expanding outwards. Uh, just another thing about the character here, you can actually customize the um, character, change its gender, change the outfit, change the hair and sort of do kind of basic edits not not that it really matters the main thing is uh and we want to now our savannah medium is going to be ready in eight seconds uh, we'll add that down and then we'll start adding some um big cats right that's ready now so we can now add the exhibit Savannah medium, a bit more expensive, but the benefits, as you can see, our money is sort of really going down, 9,000 left, so let's get the um, exhibit items in first, because these are a necessity, you need them, so we're going to go for um, well, lions, in fact, that's not sensible. We'll do the animals first. But I'm pretty sure lions are well suited for... No, no, they're not. Savannah is not good for lions. So that would have been a mistake. I think elephants are... Nope. I mean, you really want to match... Right, elephants... But the type of elephants that are the Africans, so we'll have to research that first. $100 to research that. It shouldn't take too long. Right, so we now can just go back and add the um, food station. Fruit is fine for elephants. We'll also add the cleaning station. So that should be well suitable for our elephants, which are now ready. So we'll just add a couple of elephants. We'll go with um, Clover, the female. And she's 3,000. So it's a bit expensive. We'll go with Wensleydale. It's a bit cheaper. And we know he's going to be lonely, so we'll add two. Quite expensive. Uh, we'll go with Kevin. So now we've got to really be careful that our money is dropping rapidly, that we don't run out of funds and won't be able to sort of do anything else. But I think for the most part, those animals should be quite happy in that environment. Right, we've got a new challenge zoo demonstrations says here your animals in the grassland small are bored build a new enrichment item to meet their needs so they need an item being built here so 
So we'll need to see what antelopes like. They like rope toys, so we'll build one of those. Right, they like the um, weather whacker. We need to research that first. That's going very quickly. Let me just place that down. That should have um, increased their happiness. So now we're going to go into another area. Zoo demonstrations. Guests want to see a hose interaction performed with one of our animals. So we'll go back to our elephant pen and we need to add an interactive element. So we'll go to exhibit items, select interactions and we'll build a hose interaction. We'll just jump in there and now we can sort of use the, the hose to wash the animals. So I can use Connect, which I'm using now. That's it, he's coming closer, getting nicely washed. So that challenge is now being completed. I mean, the Connect integration isn't bad, actually. I mean, you can do quite a few things with the various animals. I mean, it's, it's easier to use a controller. It's completely optional. And there you go. He's nicely cleaned and he sprayed us back. Thank you very much. So that completed the uh, challenge. There's another challenge now. Wensleydale is not happy. And we've got sick animals as well. There's a bug going around. Now, if you run out of time and you don't address this issue, you'll become... Oh, there'll be a $500 forfeit. So now I've got to go back to my... Entrance. Go back into zoo mode. Jump into the buggy. start this kind of race here. So I've got to deliver that medicine. You can sort of run over people, they sort of move out of the way, it's not. And I've got to get back to the next location. animal happiness now. We need to sort of um, fix up Wensleydale. So we've got to raise his happiness. So what's wrong with Wensleydale? Maybe he needs uh, some more company. So you can sort of click on the animal and just see. Yeah, he's not happy with the habitat. So basically what we need to do here, I think, is add some sort of entertainment. Yes, they're really not happy. So we go to enrichments. Find which ones. And they like wading pools. We'll just build that there. And now Wensleydale is a lot happier that he's got a wading pool. The happiness is rising. All is good. And we've completed the challenge. So basically, that's just how the game works. You, you kind of continue expanding. You take care of your animals. You build 
breed and do all sorts of stuff. You decorate. I mean, I can add a decoration here. A lake. Let's research that. Um, so you're just keeping your guests happy, your animals happy, and just basically running the zoo. I mean, if I quit out of here now and go to one of my... building, you can sort of get an idea of um, a bit more of a bigger zoo, more developed. Right, um, which is the most recent, that one there. And you just sort of have this sort of godlike managerial role that you have. As I said, you can hire staff to take care of the, the mundane. But um, it's, it's good fun just to sort of take charge and just take care of everything and, you know, the nurturing feeling that you might have towards your animals. I mean, I haven't gone through all of the features of the game. There's a lot more as well to it. Um, but I think once you've grasped the first kind of few hours play of what the basics are, you can sort of progress quite easily. Um, it's just a case of um, working those challenges. And as you can see, once in the game, loading is kept to a bare minimum, which is quite handy. So this is my developed zoo. Uh, we can sort of run around it in... the zoo m mode that doesn't really give you a sense of uh, the overall area so I'll just go into tycoon mode you can see it's quite a large zoo now this is what I was trying to explain earlier the um, Ping Animal Happiness. Now that will give you just a good overview of the entire zoo. Everyone is happy. The hunger levels. Yep, they're all good. Hygiene is all good. Social. Right, so there's a few that need working on. But it's not too bad. And then you can look at the um, guests as well. Guest happiness. Oh, there's a few kind of yellow, orange faces there. So it means I need to sort of care for the guests a bit more. Add a few more sort of attractions that will help them. So this sort of um, exhibit here. So I can upgrade that to level three. Guess a bit more happier there now. And we've got burger joint. So we've been... The zoo inspector's happy with us. So, you know, this is quite... Um, this has taken several hours to get this to this level. Uh, so I think that gives you a good idea of what you need to do. I mean, you can actually customise the actual zoo itself. And get sort of um so let's change the paths to uh i don't know desert path bubble that's what we've got at the moment we'll change it to tiles and as you can see it just changes the look just i think it's pretty cosmetic so i hope that gives you an idea of zoo tycoon um i'll just say one last thing as well that you can sort of check the uh, stats. I mean, you can do advertising and get more people to come in, um, but you got all these stats here showing you profitability has gone nicely, as you can see. Guests have gone up. Guest happiness has declined. You know, so you, this is gives you an idea of what you need to work. Anyway, that's um, Zoo Tycoon, and I guess it's a. Uh,
that gives you an idea of what uh, is entailed with the game. The sort of basic single player game. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.